Welcome to the podcast for the sisters and bros. It will make you laugh from your head to your toes. Talking about their lives, from the highs to the lows. And the name of the title goes... The Sloppy Joes. Welcome everyone to the Sloppy Joes podcast. A lovely Friday, it's nice, it's chilly outside. We've got our lovely Sloppy Joe's merch on. Make some noise. Beep, 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 I haven't got beep, my Sloppy beep. Joe's merch on, Joe. Get that jacket off. I've got your jacket on. Your old jacket. My old jacket from uh, an old company that I left a long time ago. Lovely jacket, though, eh? It's, uh, it's nice enough. It keeps you warm. They'll yeah. be asking for that back. Tight fuckers there. Asking for your back? Th- that back. Why? Honestly, so tight. I've pooed in it now. You're pooed in it? They don't want it back. No now. getting it back. How are you, Joe? Why have you got that jacket on? Thought I'd change it up a bit. What's underneath podcast? it? Nothing. Grease. What's underneath? I'm ready, take to, it off. I'm ready to swim the channel. I want you to take that jacket off. I'm ready off. to swim the channel. I've got nothing but a, a, a half an inch of turkey grease on me. Please. <laughs> Ethan Please. James, ladies Ethan and gentlemen. Ethan James! Hello, everyone. Hey, Ethan. It's Hello. great to see you on this Friday. Oh, Lovely yes. hair. Can oh. we do a, um, a Christmas update? Are we all Are we all on top of what we need to get? Oh, I'm a bit behind. With family and all that, Ethan? Oh, well, actually, um, in in terms of time, I've got uh, Minitra's birthday coming up. Um, oh. or, but, but in terms of when you're seeing this, it's already happened. What did you get? So what did you get? For, well, hang on a sec. Didn't you know last week when we said, have you got uh, Minitra's Christmas presents? You should not celebrate Christmas. Ah, exactly. Did you mention then that it was her birthday this week? Um... I don't know, but 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 basically, I, I, you can get away with it really quickly because you're like, oh, well, I didn't get your presents. Do you know what I mean? What did you get her for a birthday? Well, I was really nice, Drew. You see, oh, so really last nice. year, if you nice, remember, because nice. we've been doing this podcast for a bloody long time now. Big time. Last year, last. What are you doing? You Stop being off. such a muppet. Tell me, take it off. Go on, Ethan. Come on. Well, last time I have, uh, I got. Her some uh, Dairy Lee Dunkers. You, you got remember? a pack of Benson and Edges as well, didn't you? What's that? My favourite. Siggies. Ah, um, <laughs> no. Like, okay, so last year you got some Dairy Lee Dunkers. So you've got a, a, a tall mountain to climb to beat Yeah, that. you've got to be getting some... Oh, yeah. have you seen the new Baby Bells? No. They're like an ice puck. Big They're ones. like that big. Have oh. you ever seen them in France? They've been doing them I for years. I don't go to France. <laughs> They're in the Morrisons near me. I mean, have you ever seen them in France? The big boys. Wow. Weighty. Absolutely stunning. You, think you could kill a swan with one. How much? Ah. How much? What? For a big boy. How big my is lo- it? I'm, I'm literally talking like an ice puck. Uh, like an ice hockey puck. Oh. Big. Got to be one ninety nine. Four quid in Morrisons. Yeah, mate. Yeah, mate. Yeah, mate. Yeah, mate. Yeah, mate. Yeah, mate. Um, anyway, what were so we talking yeah. about? Oh, yeah, so, you've got so, to get one of them. Should so we should l- love it. Last year, you got oh, the Dairy Dunkers. This year, presumably, you're going for something like, um, what are they called? The um, the little sandwiches you can make with the biscuit, the cheese, the ham for oh, kids. Or yeah. Lunchables. Lunchables. Something like a Lunchable, maybe, to up the game. Well, well, well. I actually opted to get a, a really posh pen. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Um, a posh pen. Right. A pen. No, um, yeah, he keeps saying. Oh, you what about a posh rubber? Oh, what one that tastes like oranges or something? Strawberry. <laughs> um, right. So what? How what do you mean? What do I, what, I like pens, so oh, I'm yes. gonna be into this chat. But why Can't are you getting know. her a pen? Oh, because she 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 studies and writes a lot. So I thought, get her a nice pen instead of your typical biro. Yeah. Um. So I bought that. What was it? Talk us through it. A cross pen. What's that mean? Let me Google uh, this here in front of you. It's a com- <laughs> company called Cross. Just a standard ballpoint pen. So it's still a biro then? Ah, yeah, still a biro. But the Cross Company, the look. ballpoint pen. Here we go. Let's have a look at this bad boy. Fucking hell. What are you walking now? Which one did you get? Did you get the classic century glossy black one? Or did uh, you go slightly lower down for the cheaper ones? You, you got that 30 quid on there. You got that 30 quid, 30 dollars as well. So it's about 26 quid, isn't it? I think it was about 40 quid. 40? Maybe wow. you've got the Bailey Matt Can you Gray. refill it? Re- like new cartridges and that? Oh, yeah. I think there's a there's a cartridge in the pen. And worst case, sorry, I should just pop to Ryman's and get another one. Did you get it from Ryman's? Got it from Ryman's. Lovely. So you got her a pen. This is mad. Which is good because the thing is, pens can be expensive, but they're not like a... 
they don't really sort of fill a table on a birthday party, it's do a bit they? Of a, yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's not. It's, it's, it's a small gift. It's certainly no bike, is it? You could you no. could fit it in a cart. She's not going to be mistaken from when she sees it underneath the tree. Or sorry, so you're giving it to her, aren't you? Yeah. She's not going to be like, oh my god, what could this be? It's yeah. going to be a pen, isn't it? Well, um, I also got her like a nice little bracelet. Wow, oh, that's fine. there you go. Well, maybe start with the bracelet when you. I'd let, I would have led with that. Yeah. Um, it's a sparkly one. I ha- I was standing in the shop for about 30, 40 minutes. Fucking hell. I just didn't understand what was going on in front of me. <laughs> and there was this really large family stood next to us. How large? Large in terms of n- uh, personnel numbers or in terms of BMI? Oh, in terms of like the the suitably going that Sky One program, Fat Families. Do you remember <laughs> that? Yeah. Oh, God. And their attitudes. God, you could. You, oh. Go on, go on, go on, go on. What's their attitude? What well, are they doing? They were just really rude to the so that the son was there buying for his girlfriend um, a present, and the mum was going, "Just fucking pick one already." And it's going, "I don't fucking know what she likes, mum. Just fucking get one." And then she's like, "Go to the woman at the counter now and tell her to get what you want." And he's like, "No, nah, ma, it's fucking embarrassing." So she like drags him along. Honestly, it was really uncomfortable to watch. Then I went to the till, and then the bloody woman at the till was like, oh, are you all together? And I was like, no. And no, I was like, Actually, cheap. madam, I'm not part of this I'm big f- fat I'm family. I'm fucking lunch. Yeah. yeah. And I said, I said, I said, thankfully not for a joke. Oh. Did they, yeah? No, I didn't say that. It was really joke. Oh, I was going to say balls. So, so they, they went in with it. Do you think they were successful in the end? Did they get what they want? Put well, a few extra links on the bracelets and that. Well, I quite. They, they bought a necklace, didn't they? They the bought arm. a belt for a bracelet. <laughs> I quite liked one of the, the things that lad picked, but then I thought since the 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 mum was liking it, I didn't really like her, so I thought her taste must you be off. You didn't get something because of this larger lady's also would have got it as well. Well, because of her because of her uh, attitude. What do you mean her attitude? She was just rude. I thought so. I thought I didn't. Is this know. in Newcastle? No, this is in Manchester. So what did you get her in there then? Where was it from? I got a, a sparkly bracelet from Warren James. Wow. One of Ethan's cousins. It's not <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> did you get a discount? How much so was that? That's about 40 quid as well. Oh, it's about like 32. Oh, lovely. 32. Pushing the boat <laughs> <back>. <laughs> Proper Almost as much as the pen. So you've got pen, 32. No, bracelet. pen, 30. Bracelet. Oh, that's a so 60 quid is good for a birthday. This is a real sort of who's who of free things you can get with life insurance, isn't it? Yeah. If you if you order life insurance yeah. now, you can receive the sparkly you got bracelet. Stan Astaire lift. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she can't he, wait. To basically, use what it. Ethan did is he got his own life insurance and gave uh, Manisha all the free gifts. Yeah. So she's got a ballpoint pen <laughs> from our brand Parker, <laughs> and coming to you now as well the bracelet. And all you have to do is sign up for life insurance. I like give her my old zippy jumper. Now we need to talk about this. Yeah. You've got, and we'd all we'll, all we'll all seen it in the pod, a zippy jumper. Oh, I, I've got the zippy jumper next to me he now. He carries it with him, uh, like could, Maggie Simpson I got with a little dummy. Forced to take it off so I could put my merch on. So has anyone ever done a worse job of showing someone a jumper than that? It's so <laughs> show bad. us the front. Why are you showing the back? Such a fucking muppet, sometimes. <laughs> there it is. Look, <laughs> right. So there's your big. There's your back. We'll have seen it. A lot of people will have seen it a lot because you wear it all the time. Yeah, every day. And he came in and said to me, first thing he said when I, one of the first things he said when I saw him was, "How many times have you seen me wear this jumper before, Joe?" Tried to catch you up. And I said, I mean, hundreds, loads. And he went, "I've never worn it before." <laughs> Because he's so proud of himself. You're so proud of yourself. Because Why? Because I mean, we've seen that jumper. What do you mean you've never worn it before? Well, well, because um, I, I, Marisha always loves the, the zippy jumper, and she says she always wanted it. And I always used to say, "No, fuck off." Um, <laughs> It, fuck it's you slightly know. harsh I for, mean, no, for no, no real reason whatsoever. No, hold on. No, <laughs> no, no fuck off. Fuck now, off. You know what? Fuck off. That is a cr- <laughs> unbelievable. Why are you asking me that? Because, like I said, I, I wear it every day. It's, it's part of who I am. Really, um, says a lot. So yeah, so so what I done was I bought the exact same zippy jumper from Hollister, big old twenty five percent discount from. So the you're first gonna purchase. give her the new one, yeah? So you can have the nice fresh one. Ah, oh, she won't realise. Huh? She won't realise. 
She won't really. This you're is, giving her the old you one. You can't give her the old one, Ethan. I can't. This is her birthday. She wants that jumper. So for her birthday, You've got one old one she's new. got two life insurance freebies and a hand-me-down jumper. She really likes the jumper. Did she wear it, or is she just like smell well, it? Well, like no. A what seat? happened was I accidentally left it down in Canterbury one day, and she had. A few weeks of enjoyment from it because I forgot it there. She, she, sorry, what do you mean? A few weeks of enjoyment from it. What was she doing with it? You can't. What can, you can't do anything sexual with a jumper. I'm not saying you can, but what what enjoyment you was can. she getting from it? What? You no. can't. Jesus, Ethan. What would you? Do? Oh. What would you do? Oh. Uh, I'm not too sure actually. <laughs> but um, she loves it. Oh, that's yeah, nice. That's nice. There's a lot of sentimental gifts. They, they, there's not always rhyme or reason to them. She's, done, she's, she's certainly done well than the Dairy Lee Dunkers of last year. I'm only joking about the pen and the bracelet. They're, they're good gifts, then. I'd yeah, love that. And, I'd love all of that. And tonight, you're taking her out. Is that true? Ah, uh, well, you say, Drew. Oh, for God's you sake. You can't take her to Bunny Jackson's. You can't. Again. And you can't make her a story. You know, we love Bunny Jackson's, but you can't take her to, You can't take her there. It's a 21st. Get 21st it. as well. Yeah, so 21st. she's 18 years younger than Ethan. Yeah. Um, he looks good for 39, but he is. So she's just turning 21. This is a big birthday. Where are you going for dinner? Um, well, I tried a posh, a posh a book, book a posh restaurant, <laughs> and um, I, I couldn't get one sorted. So I probably just have to... Take her to Bunny Jackson. No, oh, it's a place that does tempe chicken. What wings. kind of food does she like? I sort of her. What kind of food is she into? How have you not managed to get a book in at a restaurant when well, you've literally got Mr. Well, restaurant McGraw was at the end of a stick? McGraw was a little bit um, not really entertaining my uh, busy request. Me you see, I'm sure you text me on like a Friday night or something. Like, what am I doing it right? Let me just sort you out here. Does she like pasta? No. What do you right, mean? Does what, she? She don't like pasta. She don't like pasta. Well, it's boring. You don't like going out for Italian because you can just have a pizza or a pasta. Or what time do you want? What, what time do you want? Do you like eating early or late? A fucking disgrace. Do you like eating early or late, Ethan? Um, well, I'd say probably seven thirty. What if it would you rather do? What about nine? Can't pick and choose now. Nine you o'clock. Could... That's all right, isn't it? Oh, that's late. Where? Where that's are you fine. going? Six by Nico, isn't it? Six by I Nico said this is a great day. shout. You, I can get What's you a booking for for six by Nico at nine pm tonight. Do you want it? Does she What's have any dietary requirements? Or six it's by a, it's Nico? It's a six course Tokyo tasting experience. Uh, oh, that sounds good. I need it for tomorrow night. Okay, tomorrow night I'm able to do one better there then. Anyway, we'll sort this off pod, shall yeah. we? Yeah. So yeah. you were just so you've just where did you actually look then? Sparrow. Sp- and that's it. Where? Sparrow. Sparrow. Stop saying. Stop saying sparrow. <laughs> when you know it's wrong. <laughs> Stop trying to purposely do our heads in today. You're it's sending me sparrow. under. It's called the Sparrows. Sparrow. Uh, sparrow. <laughs> Fucking Sparrow. It's the Sparrows. So there we go. Right, you got a book in there. There you go. No, no, thanks, Drew. All sorted now. It's so only 58 gonna... quid each. You are. Uh, <laughs> how much would you throw down on a posh meal, Ethan? Oh, I, well, I'm buying for myself at the same time there, so I don't mind. I l- the only thing I really spend my food on, my food on, my money on is food. <laughs> he lives, in, right. a, he lives right. in an underground society where food is money. You, you, he lives with a rat colony. Do you know what I said the other day? Wow. I accidentally said uh, to to my mate Andy, you said, you know, as the fly crows. <laughs> <laughs> what would you That's class as a posh meal, right, get together, I'll ask you this as well. You're buying, you're buying for someone, you're in a posh meal, mm. you're paying for their bill, Yeah. bit of booze included, oh, as well as, me, booze, as, well as the food. That's what kills you, innit? What would you say is your budget, Ethan, top end? Oh, so posh meal, free course meal and booze. Yep. Yeah, come on, I mean, I just said it. Um, I'd probably say... <laughs> uh, <laughs> Don't ask me. Wait, just to clarify. Just, just to clarify. I'd probably say for two of us, if it's like, if it's like, what the... I'm full, I feel great, a little bit on the tipsy side, having a great one. I'd say a nice spend would be maybe um, for two of us. Okay, yeah, fucking For hell. a meal. 130 quid. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a great... It's a, it's great, a lot, and yeah, I think that's the... I would say almost exactly the same. Yeah, I'd say Because it's a lot of money, but let's say you spend 35, 40 quid on the meal, another yeah. 30 quid on drinks, each... There you go. You, 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 you get carried away with a little bit. It's the fucking wine. I know, the don't, wine pairing. Oh, I'm a wine drinker now. 
Mm. Lot, of cost, you, lot of cost. Well, that right. sounds like you, you, you've stepped up your game there. You've got some lovely gifts there, Ethan. Well done. Oh, yeah, thank you. Um, I wanted to ask you about something. Go on. I, wanted, I want us to look at. Do you know in, in society there are certain things we sort of value above others, isn't there? Like, for instance, if there's an emergency, if there's a fire, there's no question what you do. Yeah. It is 999 Fire Brigade. Call them. If, if, you know, if you're having a heart attack or whatever, it's Why not. Why me? Well, I can't ring the ambulance if I'm having one. Why can't you have an heart attack? Unlikely. What very, you, very unlikely. What are you trying to say? Very unlikely. Look at him. He's svelte. The guy, he, 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 I'm fine. You're fine, yeah. I'm not saying you will. I'm just saying well, if you did. Why, what was your all right, voice? Then, let's say, all, right, voice then, then? all right, then. Let's say you pulled your hamstring on the last yard of, of the marathon you're running. Okay, great. And it's, oh, it's a bad tear. In, in, instant bruising. Yeah. It's 999 ambulance, no question. I was on the train the other day. And that this this thing of the time, if you spot a sp- suspicious package, make sure you call the British Transport Police. Mm-hmm. On da da da. What? Yeah, Think, yeah, yeah. If I see a bomb, if I hear a backpack well, that's ticking it, away, it, imagine it. ringing the British Transport Police. <laughs> no fucker has ever. That has to be the easiest job in the world, working in reception for the British Transport Police. No one has rang them once. If there's a bomb, nine 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 in it. They're, this is like, they're the middleman. There's no way the British, tra- they're just sending out the bomb squad anyway. So they're like a you, locomotive what, 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 one, one, one. Yeah, but I'm sure if you call the British Transport Police number, you get through to like, you get through to the big boys. But do you You think, don't get through to Janice. But reception. if you saw some, like a proper kickoff on a train or you're like, oh my God, there's a backpack here that's making noise, isn't that? Ah. Are you ringing the British Transport Police? No one has ever rang them. I can't remember. The, I can't remember the number. Ethan, can you do you know the number for the British Transport Police? Remember, this is an emergency that on a hundred mile an hour train might kill four hundred people here if this gets hour. derailed. Uh, this, this is terribly, terribly important. What's the number for the British Transport Police? I'll just deactivate us. <laughs> I'll just. You've watched too much Doctor Who, you have, haven't you? He'd get his little sonic screwdriver out, his knob, and he'd stick it right in the brown wire, you'd f- and oh. it'd see what happens. Oh, I wouldn't fuck Did you watch the new Doctor Who? Oh, yeah, class. Is it good? Oh, yeah, well, yeah. Is it? You, you said it wasn't that good. Oh, the first, the, first one was, the, first, the first one was shite, and I really pulled it back with the second and the third one. Have all, all three of the new ones been out, yeah? All three, we've now got Shitty Gatwa. Who's the new doctor? David's gone, but um, you'll you'll still be around if oh, I don't yeah. want to be oh, give lovely. any spoilers away. Now, Ethan, you wanted to bring a new feature to the Sloppy Joe's oh, podcast. Yeah. Um, on Tuesday's episode, we have Joe's Christmas Bonanza. Yeah. And on Friday's episode, we have sad stories. Oh, uh, yeah. Ethan's mm. sad story. Ethan's sad story. Well, the last one was 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 a mistake really and i think what do you mean well the, 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 i found a story about um a young lad who died in santa's arms and and my reaction was not a good one you laughed didn't you out of panic right it could have been a cry if you no, caught me in another day it was a laugh though wasn't it on this day you but on this day it was a laugh i didn't i, I didn't could want have been to a cry could have been a cry could have been what it was really um and then you tasked me with finding some other stories, Joe. Um, and I must say, there, there's none. I had a look. Oh, you're talking shit. There's no, not. There's no sad there's stories not a about sad story the world. Because what I realised was... The world is at peace. On, at Christmas time, just just being around for Christmas time. <laughs> it my head, <laughs> That's that's the yeah, um that's the gift in itself and that can't be that can't be disputed. So in the second week of your brand new feature <laughs> No, it's the first week. Oh yeah. The yeah, first yeah. W- last week was an accident. It was a given. This is the first week. So in the first week of your brand new feature. Well right. You can't find a single sad story. I, I can quickly tell you about the tiger. No. I don't want to hear about an animal, it has to be a human. Come on. Tell, pretend the tiger is a human. Say it's life of pie. All right. There was a a man. Yeah. A oh, tiger. No. A tiger. And he was in a zoo. 
<laughs> We've all heard the fact that Ethan is a fucking psychopath. Cut to your camera. No, I Cut to your camera. I keep was talking. laughing at the fact that the man was in the zoo. Right, right, the man is talking. in the zoo. So there's a man in a zoo, right? And he's got a really small enclosure. And what he does is he just paces up and backwards and forwards in the same spot. And I think the sad thing is, every day, he wouldn't know, even on the 25th of December, it was Christmas. It'd just be the same old day. And that's a robbery for me. <laughs> sorry, that's, that's a robbery for me. What do you mean a yeah, robbery? robbery. Yeah, oh. well, sorry, what do you mean a robbery? Sorry, sorry, obviously you've paid to go into the zoo, haven't you? Yeah, well, and then let's, let, yeah let's cut yeah. the bullshit. This is, this is a tiger in Barcelona Zoo that you Full paid to go to come on Tuesday. Yeah, but it was, I didn't know what I was p- paying myself into. What did you think it was when it was called Barcelona Zoo? What, well, did, you, what did you reckon? I must say, when I saw the flamingos, they were having a great time. So they, if someone said I to felt you, great about the flamingos. They were a great place, great place. If someone said to you, Ethan, we can get this tiger for you. Yeah. You, we can let it free for about a grand. Would you Would you pay it? I'd pay the grand. Would you? Yeah. Wow. Bollocks. Just what I'd do. Yeah, just either. what I do. There's that sounds horrible. It does make it sad though, doesn't it? There's always the argument with zoos, isn't there? Like, they pay for a lot of conservation and like treatment for animals, and they've got all these. M- most zoos have got like branches in the natural habitat of these animals that are trying to help out and help poaching and stuff. But it is fucking horrible when you see a big tiger like that locked up in a cage. Oh, sorry, a man pacing around a zoo enclosure. A man who doesn't even know it's Christmas. Sad that, isn't it? It's horrible. Yeah. I don't know why Ethan laughed at it. I no, I was, it was the man in the zoo idea. I guess, I guess that's like prison. Right, Joe, it's time for that part of the show where we eat some scran on a Friday. Now, one out of ten club yeah. is the evil sister to the nine out of ten club, yeah. which essentially is us trying the best foods in the land. Yeah, that's the nine. What's that's the one? Well, the one is unfortunately trying some of the not so nice foods. The shittest food in the world, mate. However, I've come with you with a, a, a one that I generically don't like but i'm ready for my mind to change okay i wanted to stick it's christmas isn't it just a bit mate and there's certain foods that i think oof, i could do without stolen the christmas cake as well uh christmas pudding the christmas are you, are you a fan don't matter a bit of custy oof, don't say custy again Ethan, custy what do the... you have for dessert on christmas oh i'd probably just dip back in and see if there's any spare pigs and blankets knocking about. You have anything sweet? No trifle or anything? No. Oh, no, I would have some Christmas pudding, actually. Right. <laughs> the thing is, we've been sent one of our... We've been sent by a very kind, small, independent bakery, mm-hmm. Arundel's Bakery in Oldham, something that I, 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 I'm i struggling with a little bit. You think mince pies are shit. But we've been sent some by a really lovely man. His right. name is Arundel. That's not his name. The name of the bakery yeah. is Arundel Bakery. So essentially what needs to happen here is you're bringing mince pies to the 1 out of 10 club and we've got Arundel Bakery here trying to convince what you that they What did he say? What did he say? He says, to Jojo and Ethan, thanks for the collab. Ooh. Putting the cart car before the horse there. We haven't done a collab yet. <laughs> we, haven't, we've never, we haven't done a collab. Uh, Merry Christmas. Um, Merry Christmas. So we haven't done a collab. However, we're hoping that for your sake... A Rundle Bakery that this mince pie can turn little Grinchy boy Joe onto onto the sort of the, the the minced meat. It does something to you, doesn't it? The smell. What brings you back to what Christmas time? Have you got your mince pie, Ethan? Oh, I've got my mince pie Show on it. standby. It's a oh. different. It's a, it's a quite a flat. Um, it's nice and so. Ooh, it's, ooh. it's quite a low profile pie. If you look at that. It's not one of your deep fill. So it's, it's quite pastry heavy, which, which I'm personally quite a big fan of. Go See, I like this, but I can't believe you don't like them. Well, I'm ready for that to have my mind changed. Well, you better be. Oh. What is the history again? Why is it called mince pies? I think it used to have mince meat in, didn't it? But that might be like a, a misnomer at this point. Great, great pastry. Mm. It's the inside I'm struggling with a little bit. <laughs> Let me have a little look. It looked like he was going to be sick, man. <laughs> no, I didn't. Did you see your face? I'm dropping. Have you got a Hoover? Yeah. You. <laughs> Fucking get them off the floor now, them crumbs. What do you think of the mince pie? Is one? Well, you see, I am actually a fan <laughs> of the uh, of the mince pie. Yeah. What's going on here? 
He's covered in crumbs. Um, and uh, this mince pie in particular is actually a very, very good mince pie. Yeah, okay. Why? What? Why? Why well, what? the reason for that is the pastry is really nice yeah, and it's, sugary. It's a very good bloody pastry. Isn't it? It's, it's very, very good. And the insides of it are very sweet. And so that, the pastry's sugary, the insides are sweet. So that overall makes a very sugary sweet dessert, which is exactly what the mince pie should be. Right. I'm saying this. If anyone needs mince pies in their life, or if anyone wants to get mince pies, Arundel's Bakery are the best mince pies I've tried. That is a, it's a very good mince pie. That is a good compliment from me, that. To say, to say you're a, a mince pie naysayer, the fact that, that you're saying that's the best mince pie you've had, they've done very well there. They have done very bloody well. You know what? Independent, it is, mince, independent shop as well. It is delicious. In, in, in terms of one out of ten, obviously not one out of ten. Not is one it? out of ten, I'm sorry. In terms of nine out of ten, the mince pie is... It's, it's, it's very much got a hard ceiling for me. I don't see a world where I could eat a mince pie and go, that's nine out of ten. They know just because it is what it is to a certain degree, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's lovely with cream. Oh, everything's lovely with cream. But thank you very much to Arundel Bakery. Delicious. Not Delicious. one out of ten, though. Is it double idiot. cream mad when you think about it? Go on. Can we bring double cream into nine out of ten? Do you, you think it's nine out of ten? Are you saying one out of ten, by the way, for the mince pie, Ethan? No, no, I'm not. Um, them ones are eight. Uh, again, the, the mince pie itself, it's great, like, seasonal, but, like, all year round, like, God, I'm always dying for a mince pie. That, that's not a feeling I've ever really had. No. But in terms of the mince pie world, mm. it could be a 9 out of 10 of the mince pie world. Within I'm, that I'm, world? Yeah. But I'm, the mince pie generally for you, not 9 out of 10. But in terms of the club, I'm, I'd, I'd, I like other foods more than it, but for the specific niche world, it, it would probably be in that world. Niche world. Niche world. All right, that's it for another... Fr- Oh god, I got the patient in back on the The pie's coming back to get you. Make sure you buy your Sloppy Joe's merch. It oh. is a gift for Christmas. Can you show the audience your laptop? This is just D- a, it's a disgrace. Look at the fucking state Shit. of the keyboard on that. Oh, oh dear. Turn it around properly. No, I can't. You shouldn't do that, Chug. Get stuck in between. There's I can so see it in the many middle. crumbs. There's I'll so many crumbs. It, you, knob. you better oh. pour that in the bin. If that goes on the carpet, I'm going to be so upset. I will. I'll pour it into Ethan's mouth. Good. Right, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching. We've got uh, to tease you. We've got a big Barcelona breakdown in on Tuesday's episode. Oh, Ethan going through his full phenomenal. holiday. It's it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Um, I mean, it's actually quite quite horrifying to be honest. And if you're not already, join the Patreon. patreoncom sloppy joes podcast. Christmas specials are coming to you thick and fast. Yes. Right, Joe. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye, Ethan. Oh yes. See you later. See you later. See you later.